Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm Florence, I'm Mary. How are you guys doing? Hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'll be showing us how to achieve these two layers at the back and two ponytail that wig without no closure, guys. No closure used for this braided wig. I would like to give a very big shout out to my subscribers. Thank you for supporting your girls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. And for those of us that are just joining this family, I appreciate you all. Love, 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 love you all, guys. Love you. Thank you all. Thank you. So the first thing I did was to go ahead and attach um a band, the hair band. You know how we do it, guys. You have to attach that for firm on the head. With the three combs i will go ahead and do that off camera with my machine so after attaching the bend and the combs the next thing i did was to trace out the first layer i will be doing the first layer i will be reading on so i trace that out So what I'm doing right now is to get the center point, the midpoint, place on that midpoint, straight line, and crochet on it, it's braiding hair. So guys, it's good to start at the midpoint of your weave. It's good if you are, if you want to weave, start right from the midpoint to braid. So I've sectioned. I'm just I just showed how I sectioned out my hair, up the hair before starting off. So I will go ahead and start braiding, starting with a little piece of hair. After which I will going start doing the feeding braids So right now I'm trying to make another line that will be we just keep tracing that line and crocheting on it after which we go ahead and break I'll just keep doing that on that uh, portion of line that I, I, I for the first layer until I feel odd until I feel in my braids So I'm done crocheting on it, I will just go in and do the, the braids, still starting off with a little portion of hair, 
after which I go and start filling it with the braids, with the hair. So I'm done with the first layer. I'll go ahead and mark out the, the, the portion I'll be making the second layer. So I'm trying I'm going ahead to mark out the second layer. So guys, I want to point out something right here quickly. The second layer I'm marking out right now is kind of too wide. You will see what I mean in the, as we go ahead in the video. This second layer is too wide. It's, it's kind of too distance from the first layer to the second. And where the second layer will be starting is just too wide. So... As we go ahead, you will notice that I reduced, I reduced the the line back um, downward a little bit. You will see it in, in a minute. So I'm um, the braided we had a uh, I have a. Um, one braid going from the front all the way to the back so I'm trying to trace that out I'll be crocheting on it and braid on on I'm braiding on the crochet here you will see this side in a minute So that's what I mean by braiding all the way from the front to the back. Worms, it's kind of a little bit bigger than the, the rest of the, the braid. So you see what I mean by this, this, the second layer is kind of white. So I came down a little bit to make it small. You see, that, that line right there is too is strong. So the one I'm using right now, I came down and I marked traced out the second layer. That's the one I'll be using so that it will, it will be kind of uniform with the first layer. It's not going to be the distance from the first layer to the second layer. It's not going to be too wide. That's why I have to come down a little bit. So I'm tracing, tracing out the second layer line where I'll be crocheting on and braiding on. Basically, I'm just doing the same thing, tracing out the line, crocheting on it, and braiding. That's what I will just be doing continuously until I fill in that space that I trace out for the second layer.
I'm done with the one side of the, the second layer. So I'll be doing the same thing I have on this side. I will do it on the other side. That's why I said you have to start right from the midpoint of your wig. You trace that right from the midpoint. The number of braids you have on one side is the, the same number I'll be having on the other side. So I'm done with one side of the ponytail. I'm just showing you guys the way I is looking. So I will go ahead and do the second side. I did the first side of camera, so I'll be doing this side for you guys to see what I mean. So the first, the next thing I did was to have a kind of line right from the ear, pressing it out up to that point. another one that will go across the first one I did I, I traced out I'm trying to have a kind of cross or plus let's just use that word plus you can see what I mean plus so I'll be tracing out a circle guys for you to have a full this is the tip this right here is the tip for you to have a full ponytail, always have single braids in the middle. Have single braids in the middle of your ponytail. So right here, I will be having a single right inside that circle that I drew. I'll be having single braids right inside the at random at random you just put in your the single braid I didn't have a particular push at random I just put in the single braid I use the color 1B27. I'm just showing it right now. Expression hair. I use two packs for this braided wig. So, guys, if you have watched this video up to this point and you've not supported your girl, you've not hit on the subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Support your girl. Support your girl. Hit the subscribe button right there. Don't forget to turn on your bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Very, very big thumbs up. Thank you all. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you all. So the next thing I did was to use the first ponytail to trace up to get my point um, line for the second ponytail you can see what I'm trying to do the same point where the 
the other side of the ponytail starts that's where i will start marking out the second ponytail you want your ponytail to look same you don't want to have different one side braids going this way and the other side going the other way you want to ensure that they are looking almost the same thing if not the same almost the same thing so i'll be appreciating on it Please guys, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section. Ask me any question, I will gladly reply. Let's interact, let's meet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'll be going, I'm going in right now with the braiding hair. Doing the feeding braids. The braids are stopping at the circumference of the the circle that we that I drew. If you notice, I'm um, is stopping at the circle, at the edge of that circle. That's where the the all the braids of of the ponytail will be stopping. They will be stopping at the circumference. That way, to give it their fuller look that we're looking for, guys. That's the tip. If you want your ponytail to be full, ensure that you have single braids at the middle that way you will have a full ponytail right now i'm going in with a baby hair i use the ventilating method to do my baby hair using a human hair you can use it you can use braiding hair it doesn't matter whichever one you have if you want to use the braiding hair that's fine That's it guys, that's it. Look how beautiful it is. You can see it's full. The ponytails are full because of the singles that you have in the middle. If you have single braids in the middle of your ponytail, it will be full. It's going to be full. That's it guys, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you.